Catherine and Kevin, the DIY chicks, and Hi. we are here today with another fun project. Yes. So today we are making some um, herb and veggie markers. Yes, super easy. Mm -hmm. You can get super creative. Yeah. Um, these are good if you have veggie boxes, yeah. um, planters, pots, yep, exactly. pots, anything like that that you need to kind of identify a plant. Store Not remember. even for veggies. You can probably yeah. do flowers or something like that yeah, too you if you want to. Yeah, you can use them for really yeah. whatever you want to do. So. Like my boyfriend, he collects plants and succulents, so he could put them in each, you know, one of his succulents yeah, or palm exactly. trees or anything like that. You can so, be really creative yes. with this, and you'll kind of see um, the steps in just a minute here. But we're gonna go ahead and try this. I'm gonna zip through it for you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. this nice little herb yes. pot so we got to put our a uh, couple spoons in we made a couple more but they weren't quite dry yet so we just went ahead and put the dry ones in so you could see the final effect yes um like we said another really simple project super easy, easy. wasn't mm -hmm. very long at all no. the only thing that was a little tricky was probably burning the edges a little bit it is kind of windy today so you might have saw us in the video kind of blowing <laughs> out the, <laughs> the quick plane so just make sure that you're kind of in the uh, area where it's not windy or if, it's, mm -hmm. if you're outside, make sure it's not windy that day. Another alternative, if you don't want to do that, you can um, get some tea water yeah. and kind of put that on it to kind of give it that old feel. That you can kind of put it around the edges and make the edges look a little bit more serrated by mm -hmm. ripping it or cutting it into little edges. So that could be a really cool idea to do for that for yeah, alternative. For sure. So um, one thing we did not show you in the step-by-step -step was um, if you want to give it a nice sealed look, we didn't do that in ours because it is still a little dry with the, it's still a little wet with the Mod Podge. You can spray it with some um, gloss finishing or sealant kind of spray. You can find it at Michael's or Walmart. It's like mm -hmm. three or four bucks a can and you just spray it on there and it dries instantly and that'll kind of seal it and give it a nice yeah. gloss to it too. And especially if you're going to use it outside, it's yeah. a really good um, yep. tool to use because yes. like this, since it's just paper and Mod Podge, it'll probably last a little while, but yeah. it's not going to last you know as long as yeah. you seal it and, and they do have a uv uh protectant mm -hmm. one so make sure the one you're buying it's kind of a uv one it'll make it last outside with the sun rays and yeah. everything so super easy super fun yeah. thank you guys for watching if you have any questions you know what to do comment below follow us on instagram like us on facebook mm -hmm. and subscribe to our channel thanks guys bye, bye.